Do you ever wake up with a sore jaw and your teeth feel a little sensitive? Well, maybe possible that you grind your teeth. Dr. Nate here at Thrive Dental Orthodontics. I'm gonna walk you through how you're gonna determine if you grind your teeth and what are some of the easy solutions to fix that. So you're like, okay, Dr. Nate, I don't necessarily wanna to go to the dentist. Just tell me if I grind my teeth. How do I know if I grind my teeth? All right, this is the easiest way. This I did actually for myself too. I just took a picture with the smartphone of the tops of your teeth and what you should see if your teeth are healthy. And most of mine are, but I have a couple that are not but if they're healthy, you're gonna see these mountains and valleys on the teeth and it's gonna look nice and pretty and your bite's gonna be nice and good and everything's gonna look just dandy. But like a lot of people in the world, your teeth are not gonna be perfect, potentially on some of them. And what you're gonna notice if you grind, and this is if you grind during the day or at night, same thing you're gonna see, is on the top surfaces of your teeth, you're gonna see this flatness. We call that a wear facet. So when you take the picture, if you look in the mirror, you have somebody else help you out. If you see these very flat lines on your teeth, that is a very good indication that you may grind your teeth. Now grinding or bruxism, as we call it in the biz, is definitely not good for your teeth. If you just do a minor amount, you know, just a little bit where you can't really see. Okay, it's probably not gonna be the end of the world, but if you're like some people I know and you have ground them down a lot, a lot, a lot, you may have to get them restored with either crowns or composite fillings or something to build up those teeth again to protect them. So you're like, okay, I get it, Dr. Nate. I know I'm grinding my teeth, but how do I fix it? I want them to be fixed and nice and pretty and looking good. All right, well, number one is like I mentioned, you can get crowns or veneers or fillings or something like that to build up those teeth. But if you wanna fix your problem, you wanna fix the bruxism or the grinding, here are the few ways you do that. Number one, you come in, and we give you a night guard. Better to have it made at a dental office. I know you can get them online, probably for pretty affordable. The problem is the online ones are really squishy and sometimes it actually makes you grind more. Like you wanna grind down on things. Like if you've ever had a mouth guard or, a night, or anything that's kind of squishy inside your mouth, actually even sometimes with Invisalign, you tend to grind more. So that's why I don't like that. So if you're gonna get a night guard, come into the dental office to get your proper night guard. And what that's going to do is it will protect your teeth. You know, some dentists will tell you that it protects your teeth and it may stop you from grinding. I don't see that that much. I guess in theory that's possible because your jaw is opened up so you don't have as much force. I guess that's possible. We just don't see that as much. If you have your night guard in, at least it will protect your teeth. It may not stop you, but at least it may protect you. So that's step number one, get that night guard. But step number two, you know like the celebrities, how they put Botox all over the place, forehead and everywhere all over the place? You can actually do that same thing in your jaw. So that will actually help prevent you from grinding. So what does Botox do? Botox essentially makes muscles weaker because it doesn't allow the neurons to fire. And so those muscles get weaker and weaker and weaker. So you can't actually grind down quite as much, which is a great benefit for you if you grind too much. But if you do, buyer beware. Because if you're gonna do Botox, you have to do it periodically. I think it's every three to six months is a normal interval. Yes, you may get further and further along. We have to do it less and less and less, but you're still probably gonna to have to do it periodically. Another issue that happens with Botox is because you're reducing the muscle mass right here, your jawline's gonna get thinner. Now, some people love that. Some people want a thinner jawline and it kind of has the more female look and it gets really slim and nice and pretty, but some people don't. They want a thick jaw, they want that big master muscle. So beware if you're gonna do Botox. And lastly, maybe try straightening your teeth. That may not fix your grinding problem, but if your teeth are straight and aligned and your bite's nice and pretty, nice and good, if you do grind down, it'll be a more even distribution of forces, so it hopefully won't hurt your teeth quite as much. But that is probably like the last thing you're gonna do. So you're gonna get the teeth, you're either gonna get a night guard, you're gonna get a Botox to hopefully make those muscles a little less aggravated, and then maybe if you want to do a really, really good job, you can do something with Invisalign or braces to get your teeth straight so the forces of your bite are distributed evenly. So there you go, guys. Dr. Nate here at Thrive Dental Orthodontics. If you've had any value from this video, please like and subscribe below. As you know, I'm putting out videos every single week to help you along your dental and orthodontic journey. So I will see you guys in the next video.